What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I am Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. If you're new, thanks for tuning in. Hope each and every one of you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, when I'm recording this, uh, it's the day before Thanksgiving. So all of my work is already complete for the week and am here to talk about equipment storage very briefly. <music> Alrighty y'all, so equipment storage is a very important thing to think about when you go to store your equipment over a period of several months. So the, the top priority is fuel stabilization and that's what I'm going to be talking about really, really quickly today. So hopefully I can do this in just a few minutes. But the product that I have used for years uh, is Stabil Fuel Stabilizer Storage, their storage brand. Um, this is not sponsored by them. They did not give me this for free. Uh, it's just what I have trusted for 10 years that I've been in business. And my dad used it on his equipment and my grandfather on his. But just uh, uh, real quickly, it prevents gum, varnish, and corrosion, safe for all use in uh, safe for use in all gasoline engines, eliminates need to drain the fuel, effective in all gasoline and ethanol blended fuels, and keeps the fuel fresh for up to 24 months. So, to not bore you, I have already put the fuel stabilizer in uh, all three of my right mowers. I put it in the Billy Goat uh, blower, uh, but I've also got to add it to the Gravely Pro Stance, the Lawner ZTS, my garden tiller, the Xmark 30 commercial mower, and my other aerators, the Lawn Air 5 and the Lawn Air 4. So I still have plenty more to put in, uh, but I have already added it to the lineup that you see here. Uh, it's 30 milliliters or one ounce per two and a half gallons. Uh, I have also already treated my shear cans so let's go on here hopefully the light will change there we go so up here in front of the adjust this filter in the front of my trailer uh, this is where i keep the uh, gas cans for the mowers uh, i've got five five gallon shear cans three two and a half gallon shear cans or 2.2 gallon uh, and i've got two old metal cans there in the back so i have already treated each of these fuel cans. With that being said, with that being said, I'm not going to get into the science of it because I'm not a scientist, but uh, it is very important that you treat your fuel and your fuel system. So once these things have been uh, topped off with fuel, I'll let them run for a few minutes to cycle through and get that uh, fuel stabilizer into the system. Uh, even though I may still use these mowers for the next couple weeks, I go ahead and get that stuff in the system. So it's okay to, to burn the fuel or use the fuel with it in there. Um, that's what I've done for years and I've never had any issues with uh, carburetors, fuel injectors, any of that stuff. That's just what works for me. I'm not telling you that's how you need to do it, but that's what has worked for me. I always start running stable fuel stabilizer uh, a couple weeks before they actually go dormant for the year. Um, and Plenty of guys out there have different methods. I'm just gonna tell you what I do. I make sure that everything is full. I fill up all my fuel cans. I fill up all my mowers, all of the equipment. I top everything off and then I treat the fuel. Then I let it run for like five minutes and I shut them down. That's what I do, okay? There are some guys that will uh, drain fuel tanks, um, but I don't do that just because the, that uh, my mindset with it that could create um, you know room for water condensation to form and we all know water in a mower or water in an engine is not good um, so that's what I do uh, I will go to the fuel station I will fill up all of these gas cans um, because you know I don't technically shut down through the winter there will be some some jobs that I do so I'll still will need fuel um, but over the three months that I'm not mowing, this fuel will be perfectly fine come time uh, to start mowing again. Everything will be great. The mowers will 
fire right up and the fuel will be just as good as new. So that's just some reasons in, uh, of why I do it, how I do it. Um, so one, it protects your fuel system, prevents gum up, uh, protects all your uh, fuel injectors, and it just improves the longevity of your equipment. So that's some of the, the key points of why I put Stabil Fuel Stabilizer. And there's other products out there um, that could be just as effective, but Stabil is what I use. Stabil is what I trust uh, here with Mitchell's Lawn Care. Um, I will also put it in all of the trimmers, blowers, and all the handheld equipment too. Um, I'll make sure that all of those, you know, right here behind me, the trimmers and uh, the blowers right there, I'll make sure that everything that has fuel in it is treated. So uh, come spring, everything fires right back up. But anyways, short video. That's all I wanted to bring to you. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe if you aren't already. Uh, and make sure you hit that little notification bell. That way you know the next time that I upload a video. Um, I greatly appreciate your support. Uh, we recently hit 1,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. I thought it would have taken a, a lot longer, but it turns out some of you actually enjoy the content that I put out, and it means the world to me. So when I say thank you, I, it comes from my heart. I do mean it. I'm not just saying it to blow smoke up your butt. Um, so thanks for tuning in. If you've got any questions, comments, or concerns for me or about this video, let me know in the comment section down below. If you got some tips or pointers that could help someone, leave that down in the comment section below as well. Um, I'll also put up some information of, of where you can buy a stay bill. Um, you can get it online, uh, and there's a bunch of places that sell it. All of your you know lawn and garden stores should have it as well. But anyways, um, I hope uh, by the time you see this video, Thanksgiving will have passed. But I hope I hope that uh, you and your families had a wonderful Thanksgiving and. Um, you were able to indulge on some delicious goodies because I know I will and did. So have a blessed day and we will see you next video.